Hello, I'm Annette Loduca Duhame, registered dietitian nutritionist with Henry Ford Bariatric and Metabolic Surgery Center. I would like to congratulate you on your journey to a healthier life that now incorporates healthy eating and exercise. The information in this video should help you with taking your first steps to a healthier you while supporting healing and recovery from surgery. It also provides the nutrition your body needs to support healthy weight loss on the journey towards your goals. All bariatric surgeries can result in diminished hunger and sometimes thirst. Even if you're not hungry, eat and drink liquids to accomplish your nutritional and fluid goals. Adequate protein, calories, and fluid are an important part of healing. Post-surgery nutrition goals. Your daily nutrition and fluid intake goals are seven to 900 calories, 64 ounces of non-calorie fluid, 80 to 100 grams of protein, four to five meals per day, and those meals are a two to three ounce serving, which is your maximum. While in the hospital, clear liquids will be the first meal plan served. You'll see that the Items on the clear liquids include chicken broth, beef or vegetable broth, sugar-free gelatin, decaf tea with sweetener, and diluted fruit juices. Your fruit juices are 50-50 with water. Your goal with the fluids are three ounces of liquid consumed over 30 minutes. Your initial goal is to work towards 20 to 30 ounces of fluid. While also in the hospital, you'll begin walking walking for exercise. It's good for health and for the prevention of pulmonary embolism. You'll continue your clear liquids day three and four post-op. And again, your goal is 20 to 30 ounces of fluid. Also, when you go home, you'll start your protein supplementation. These things are begun in the hospital and continued home on your day of discharge. After day three and four post-op on your clear liquids, you are free to go onto the stage two diet. The stage two foods include, of course, your protein supplements along with thin hot cereal like cream of wheat or grits. You can also do skim milk or soy milk, yogurt or pudding with a sugar free, and cream soups like cream of broccoli or cream of mushroom, minus the pieces of vegetable or chicken. Keep a food and exercise journal while moving through stage two, and of course, do your vitamin mineral therapy daily. Here is a sample meal plan of stage two. For breakfast, you could enjoy cream of wheat made with skim milk instead of water, and for an additional protein enhancement, skim milk powder can be added to the skim milk prior to cooking. A mid-morning snack could be a protein shake, while lunch, a yogurt with extra milk powder or even protein powder added. A mid-afternoon snack can be another protein shake. And dinner, a cream soup made with skim milk plus milk powder. On day 10 post-op, you're welcome to go on to stage three diet with your Roux and Y gastric bypass. This meal plan, of course, continues protein supplementation also includes thicker hot cereal like oatmeal, things like mashed potato or scrambled egg, pureed vegetables, the consistency of mashed potatoes, and a pureed fruit, cooked and mashed fruit. The meats are also in a pate. Things like liverwurst, pate tuna or salmon, deviled egg, things that are soft and creamy, and also mashed beans like hummus or fat-free refried beans. Crispy crackers are also okay, as long as they are very dry and low fiber, low fat. Something like a saltine cracker or a baked corn chip Melba toast type. Keep a food and exercise journal and of course take your vitamins daily in stage three. This is a sample menu of stage three. Scrambled egg for breakfast with Melba toast. A mid-morning snack could be a protein shake. Lunch, fluffed cottage cheese with applesauce. A mid-afternoon, another protein shake. And dinner, a mashed meat or beans with mashed vegetable. To begin with lifelong vitamin therapy, you'll be taking multivitamins, one serving twice a day. 
chewable calcium citrate with vitamin D, 1,500 milligrams of calcium daily. Sublingual B12 of at least 500 micrograms and iron in 325 or 65 elemental. You'll also begin vitamin D, 50,000 international units, and that's dosed only once a week. If there are any vitamins you still require, as mentioned, you will need chewables for at least the first six weeks post-op. Celebrate vitamins are available in the lobby pharmacy without a prescription. Biotech vitamin D3 is also available. When you go home, you'll have two post-op surgical medications. The first one is omeprazole. This is a once daily medication for two months. You'll open this little capsule, but don't crush the beads. Just chase the beads until the capsule can be taken whole. This is to prevent ulcers. If you have a gallbladder, you'll also start Actigal medication. And this medication is twice a day for six months. And this is to prevent gallstone formation. All medications after discharge are crushed or chewable. It's important to note with your healing diet that there's no meal skipping. Begin your vitamin therapy daily. Also work towards your exercise goals of 30 to 60 minutes. And keep a food and exercise journal. What is nutrition for healing? Aim every day to reach for 64 ounces of fluid, and that's one ounce every 10 minutes. Aim for a protein goal of 80 to 100 grams of protein using supplements and other clear or full fluids. Aim for 700 calories daily. Nutrition is important for adequate healing following bariatric surgery. Some questions we receive include, what can I do to prevent constipation? Aim to drink adequate fluid up to 64 ounces daily. If desired, start fiber supplement when fluid intake is at least 30 ounces or more. Your bowel movement pattern is based on calorie intake, and it's common to see a stool every four or five days post-op. Could also try drinking prune juice AM and PM. What can I do if I'm having difficulty keeping food down? The first two weeks after surgery, a clear liquid, full liquid meal plan is consumed. Aim for one ounce every 10 minutes. Continue fluid intake working up to 64 ounces of fluid daily. Start your protein intake when you get home and aim for 80 to 100 grams of protein a day. Full liquids continue up to 21 days after discharge or until goals for protein, calories, and fluid are met. If you're unable to keep food or liquids down, call the dietitian during business hours or call the purple team after hours. Hailing nutrition is important up to six weeks post-op. If there are any further questions, please contact your bariatric team. We appreciate you taking the time to learn about your new healthy lifestyle and thank you for choosing Henry Ford.